<laughs> I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. <laughs> Aren't you a saucy thing? <laughs> I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience. Oh, uh, God, I love this game. What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Outer Worlds video. So, in the last video, if you guys remember, we were on a mission uh, towards the end of the video so we can actually complete Vicar Max's, you know, companion quest here on the Groundbreaker, but we were unsuccessful because we didn't have a means to get into uh, the security office thing uh, successfully. And ultimately, we had to just uh, pawn it off for this video. So since then, I actually went around and grinded a bunch of maglocks or magpicks or whatever you call them. And then I found out that Felix actually gives you a boost in those hacking or picking things or whatever. So I didn't even need to do that at all. I could have just brought him with me and we could have just done this mission altogether. On top of that, if you see up here, I have 10,000... Uh, bits now so we are able to progress on the mission as well so first things first i'm gonna do this mission for the vicar really quick and then after that we're gonna continue the main storyline so with that being said let's get going all righty so first things first since we already have that whole stealth thing we can actually just run in with no problem hell we could probably even have full conversations with these people but we have missions here let's go ahead and do this Great work. Bam. I know it's great work. Just yank the drive and I'll do the rest. Yes, ma'am. Alright, uh Is this the data cartridge? Is that it? Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Why with all the secrecy, though? Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? So is Monarch like a... Rebel place, I guess. Uh, this seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Okay, well, sounds good. Now, first things first, since we actually haven't been to Monarch yet, we're pretty much done with the Vicar for now, so I want to go get Ellie back. So we're going to probably just keep Felix since he's already here with us. And we're just going to go pick up uh, Ellie and leave the Vicar back on the ship. Alright, awesome. So mission accomplished. Now let's go ahead and actually continue the mission so that we can actually go to a new world. Since I think the next place we're going to is actually on to Monarch. Uh, so that's actually pretty awesome. That's like the... That's like the place that you hear of the most, man. I hear about Monarch when it comes to this game more than any other planet. Gladys, I got your money. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Nope. You've asked me before and the answer is still no. So, I'll buy the Stellar Bay nav key, by the way. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? No, besides the fact that you made me broke now, but later. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Yeah, and I don't think I'm ever going to come back. Hey, so, boss, if you need a tour guide... I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. You've been a Monarch Somehow before? I always find my way back to the Groundbreaker. Uh... Bye. <laughs> Alright, so Gladys said something 
about going uh to where is it? Oh, to the sublight. I think we've been there before, but who knows? Maybe we'll get another mission or something. Why are you guys staring at me? Holy crap. Creepy. You weren't followed, were you? Absolutely, by two losers behind me. So I got the nav key to Stellar Bay. Is that job still up for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay, sounds good. Uh, What's Sublight doing in Fallbrook anyways? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Uh, the gross. Kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. Um, how unconventional asking for a friend. <laughs> I'm curious. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Oh my god. Mine, including the cameraman. That is so gross. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, so what kind of salvage are we looking for exactly? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Uh, so I'm going after Alta Vita gas? What exactly is that anyways? I've never heard of that. It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. <laughs> you and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Ellie, you're you're crazy. I'll definitely check take the job though. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes in the back of your head. Understood? I don't think I can grow eyes in the back of my head. She genuinely looks worried. Uh Understood. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Oh, yeah. God. See? We'll be fine. You know what? Say what you want, but Felix is... He's really brave, dude. He's a brave dude. And Ellie's a lot of fun. I love love them. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate... I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. <laughs> Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. <laughs> She's such a dick. Oh, Felix, you gullible bastard. Let's go. So, wait, what's our mission now? Our mission now is passage to anywhere. So you finally have the nav key to Stellar Bay on Monarch. Inform Dr. Wells or Wells Wells? I don't know. Uh, so you can learn uh, why you need to travel to the restricted planet and who you need. Oh, duh. This is uh, Phineas. I don't know why I had trouble remembering that. But all right, let's go talk to Dr. Wells or Wellies or Wellies or whatever the hell's name is. Phineas. That's it. Phineas. By the way, I pretty much am just using pretty much just pistols nonstop. I'm actually enjoying using pistols. Originally, I wanted to do rifles and stuff, but I don't know. I, I, I'm having a lot more fun with pistols in this game. Alrighty. Please, would you kindly inform the crew that long chats with Ada are not required every time the captain leaves the ship? 
Um, sure. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, absolutely. Put him on a screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. If you say so. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. Let's do it. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Sure, why not? Just tell me what you do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. A guide. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. So, a guide. I, I think that's suggesting a new companion. I think that's my last companion, actually. Uh, so, I've got some questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Okay, sounds good. I'm off. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. I just now realized, too, that I've never actually been to Phineas's lab. Let's go check it out real quick. Top secret orbital lab. Well, let's go. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Man, you scared the hell out of me. Oh, damn it. Blast, that's loud. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm that's all. securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Congratulations? I'm, I don't know. I Where is this conversation going? Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Sounds like you're. What the hell? What is that? Does this not remind you of. Uh, this reminds me of the capsule from uh, New Vegas when. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the computer guy? I, oh, I can't. I would have a freaking brain fart right now, but when uh, you go in to see him or whatever and he's all strapped up and he's actually like very, very old and fragile and stuff, he comes out of one of these things. Examine. You spent over four decades in space with nothing more than technology, chamber, uh, rest, okay, awesome. Reviving you from hibernation was my greatest accomplishment. Awesome. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got uh, caffeinoids, sissy bits, if you're into that sort of thing. I don't even know what any of that is. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, for what it's worth, I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. So I wanted to talk, uh, I'll just take a look around. It doesn't sound like he's got anything interesting to add. So I kind of want to just check out, uh, Shrink Ray. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapons damage, uh, uh -huh. cool. I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a Shrink Ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable Whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. That sounds awesome. Let me see. I want to check this out. Sure. Oh, here it is, dude. Damage. 
18. Oh, it's it's very weak, and the DPS is 36. So the special effect it weakens them. So I guess that means that every damage you do on them damages them more. Just for the hell of it, I'm gonna put it on four. I do want to check it out, man. It looks pretty cool. All right, let's inspect it really quick. It says, this small one-handed beam weapon emits a continuous ray that shrinks its target by uh, an amount proportional to the wheel wielder's science skill. So the higher the science skill I have, the more effective the weapon is, I guess. Uh, shrunk tar uh, targets suffer from reduced armor and reduced damage. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah, if you shrink them, more they they get more damage so this this is perfect for for my situation that way my companions can do all the damage while i shrink the people or whatever it is i'm fighting down once the beam is off the target they grow back to their normal size within a few seconds will not lock onto friendly targets this is actually pretty cool i want to try it out i was about to say that i want to literally uh explore Pocket watch. Another pocket watch. Alright, doesn't look like there's actually anything interesting. Besides the science weapon. Alright, well, let's just get out of here. I wonder how many other science weapons there are in this game. Because they did give me a prompt as if there was more. So, who knows, man. Maybe there's, maybe there's a ton more. I just haven't found them. Alrighty. Captain, Felix and the vicar are arguing again. What are they arguing about now? Last time they were arguing over one of those cereals. Oh no, actually, the last time they were arguing, they were arguing over sports. You don't think that's a problem? Whole ship's running on a computer's fancy. Then I'll make you nervous, preacher? No, Felix. The concept of a ship computer does not make me nervous. Are you scared of Ada? <laughs> I ain't scared of Ada. Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. Oh, Felix, why are you scared of the uh, robot? Computer, Max. What happens when her equations tell her to cut off her oxygen or blast us all into space? Felix, Ada is not sentient. She can't act out of a sense of malice. Where do you get these ideas? I was watching true stories of mechanical murderers last night. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to make you read an actual book. Oh my god, these guys, listening to their, uh, I guess back and forths is freaking awesome, dude. But alright, let's go talk to this Nyoka chick or whatever her name is. Alright, where, uh, so Monarch, damn, that's way over here. Warning, dangerous, cans Cascada, so. Where's Nyoka? I don't know where to go. Whoops. So let me check really quick the journal because I'm not sure which part I'm supposed to go to. Uh, contacted a broker, Nioka. So in Stellar Bay. Okay. Tracking. So first things first, we go to Stellar Bay. Look at how fast he's go we're going now. Top speed flight. We're now in orbit about Stellar Bay, Captain. Sounds good. Let's get on with it. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is like a desert. I'm willing to bet this Nioka chick is a... Uh... Holy shit, I almost jumped off of that. How do I get down there? I'm willing to bet this Nioka chick is literally a companion. She, I mean, she's supposed to be a guide. No. There we go. Hey, come back here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Sounds good. We'll sign me in. I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Uh, yeah. Oh my God, where's my mouse? There it is. I lost my mouse for a second. That was weird. Uh, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. So what are they doing out here? You may not have heard, 
you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. <laughs> On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Uh, John Travolta. I'm Captain Luis. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. <laughs> Yay, I gotta weigh in. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. <laughs> uh, you're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. So, it's... Did he just say raptodons and cannibals? I can't wait. What? <laughs> Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Gross. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Alright, well, I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, you know, basically just take a look around. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? I, I will. Oh, I if definitely you're will. That way, maybe you could do me a favor. What's up? Sure, what is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Yeah, I will. Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. MSI, huh? Do they sell uh, computer parts? Graphics cards? Why are you guys always staring at me? <laughs> the Yacht Club. Dude, this looks... This literally looks like an old western town. In the future. Super freaking cool, dude. Not gonna lie. Alright, so where's my map marker? Oh, right in here. I guess the Yacht Club it is. Nioka. Talk to me, girl. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding. All over the place. Trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the... Tell the blood from the mud. Um. Let's see what's going on. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. What the hell's going right. on? What are you staring? Wait, you ain't from around here. Who are you? Uh, John Travolta. Who are you? I'm Luis. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Sure, another round. Outstanding. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Apparently trying to get drunk. Vacation? Uh, I'm told you can help me find information on a broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Of course. Brass. Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's talk business. <laughs> I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. She sounds wasted. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding. Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? 
pill. They're very good. Probably caffeine. On, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But you see, you got no Fetch me one and we'll be all set. All right, let's. Uh, sure, why not? Uh, and if I can't get a steroid or caffeine something or something to or offer? That's quitter talk. You want me shooting straight? Get me my meds. Doesn't sound like meds. Sounds like a fucking drug. But all right, I'll be back. Uh, hi. Well, well. Isn't often we see new folk in Stellar Bay. First drinks on me, stranger. Thank you. Enjoy. If you plan on sitting through Nioka's stories, you might could use a few. <laughs> I could use a few and tell it myself. Now what can I do for you? I need something for Nioka, actually. Uh... Well, I guess you don't have anything. I just kind of want to see what you have. Nothing. Alright, so let's go get her whatever it is, caffeine or... Or, uh, whatever the other thing is. <laughs> this looks freaking epic, bro. Like, damn, I like this city a lot. Hi. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. The hell's that supposed to mean? the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Um, I've been asked to pick up medicine, some kind of caffeine or steroids. Bless your little heart, you must mean caffeinoid. If it's pep you need, one pill does the deed. Well, all right then. Whiskey helps too. <laughs> Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this you got for? Uh, me. I'm just gonna say it's for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. I just became a Stellar Bay resident. The reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? I guess I gotta pay a visit upstairs. Uh, you can't trust people these days? Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. Until I steal it. <laughs> I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Uh, should I just tell her? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Auntie. You'll have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. <laughs> You a saucy thing. <laughs> now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience. Oh, uh, God, I love this game. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there because I'm not trying to get anywhere with her. She's a little uh out of my age bracket. Uh, why don't you show me a... Nope. Ah, oh, uh, fuck. Okay, I'm digging a hole. All right, uh, why don't you just show me a thing or two? Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Homie, that's for... Ah, oh, forget it. It's for Nioka. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I had told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. You, yeah, you do. Uh, there must be some way to increase Neoka's allotment. I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flattering old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room. 
for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Uh, remind me, what supply room? The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. Uh, where can I fight, find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, well, that sucks. Some rather daring substance combinations. So, where's this graveyard? The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. You're gonna go tussle with some raptodons? Because I've been practicing my dropkick. <laughs> I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Man, he's got some balls. I guess I'll have to figure this out on my own. Chin up, dearie. You're no help. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own cathanoid. Don't be so hard on her. The Brax mission, she's working double. Alright, let's go. Now I gotta figure out. Nope, that's not it. Uh, I'll keep it down. I'll be taking that and that. Let's go ahead and pick her way in here. So where's this medicine? Steel grip? No. Caffeinoid. Now let's go ahead and quietly just walk on out of here like nothing ever happened. La 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 la. So which one's this one? Dr. Williams? No, thank you. Neoka. Yes, thank you. Probably wasn't the right way to do it, but eh, it's definitely faster and more convenient. Here, Neoka, you owe me. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business. Both. All of the above? I've got your magic pills. These things are dangerous, you know. Says someone who's never had any fun. Oh, exactly. stop it. See? I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense sensible. Got her head on straight. <laughs> well, you and Ellie would get along. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the uh oh no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. <laughs> uh, glad to have you. Wait, she's a, she's a companion. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Of course. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. So, Ellie is staying with me. So, Felix, love you, bro, but... Go ahead. The big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it. I don't know what the game's like on Terra 2, but out here, the daintier weapons ain't gonna cut it. Manosaurs require stopping power. Yeah, but... What's left after you're done with them? Alrighty. So let's see what Nioka ha has. Oh. Light machine gun. You know what? Let's go back to the ship because I actually have a legendary version of a machine gun, I think. And I would love to give it to her. Wait, where the hell's my ship? Is it over here? Oh, I'm so gonna get lost in this place. It's not even funny. Where the hell is my ship? I'm so confused. 
So there goes Stellar Bay. There it is. This place is freaking awesome, but it's very easy to get lost here. Oh, I guess I could have just went straight across. I forgot. It was the first thing you see coming here. Nioka, I got a very, very nice surprise or present for you. I just thought about this, but I have every companion now. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Well, Did you notice how our crew's a lot like that crime family from the Mass Marketeer? Oh, which one's the captain? You know the head of the family? Never shows up on screen, but everybody's scared of him? That's the boss. And everyone's got different theories about what they're really up to? I can see that. Oh, okay then. You need something? I thought there was like some flirting. Alright, yeah, I can wait for that. There it is. The old reliable. So let's go ahead and take that. What is this right here? Uh, Montag. I'm not even sure. That's good for now. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. Stop creeping on me, Ada. Damn. All right, so where is Nioka? There she is. All right, so let's go ahead and give you... Oh, I have a legendary version of that, too. I guess Nioka is Nioka's lucky day. Nioka, where you at? Uh, right there. Let's give you that, too, and I'll just sell your products. Good stuff. I still haven't found either one of these for her that are legendary. But I think we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and continue the mission. It's going to be very interesting to see her shoot those legendary guns. And I really want to find Ellie some nice legendary stuff, man. So what is this right here? That's Broker. It's not that far. Oh, never mind. That's just to leave this place. Talk to me. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. What? Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. <laughs> <laughs> She's such a dick. <laughs> Uh, your child is missing? Where did he go? Where did he last see him, I mean? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Uh, sure, I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. I mean... Look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Why do I get the feeling it's not even a little boy? Holy crap, these guys are really armored and gunned. They look badass, though. I like this hat better. All right, let's go. Join me for a second, will you? Sure. Hey, got a favor to ask you. What's up? Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way. Don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Uh, thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. Oh, I can relate. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. 
Sounds like fun. I'm honored you're asking. And I'm thrilled to accept. What can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out. And we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years. And the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places. Like the family we once were. So what do you need me to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Yeah, no, for sure. And after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. Holy shit. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Sounds fun. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Oh, we're definitely doing that first. That sounds badass. Uh, journal. Faction. No, not faction. Uh, Starcross Troopers. Is that the one? Yep. That reminds me of Starship Troopers, which was a badass movie back in the day. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Reminds me of the crew cabin on one of my first ships. <laughs> you. Ooh. Right. Here's the road. Follow it south. Go. Just like that. Well, she's a badass. Holy crap. Where are they at? Oh my god. We took care of business. Yes, we are. And we took very little to no damage. Well, there was definitely damage. Nioka didn't get any damage, but still, that was pretty on point. This is actually pretty far, but look at these trees, dude. This place looks insane, dude. And it looks that looks like Jupiter. Oh, look, Nioka, you're. That's gonna get annoying fast. Ah! Let's get the flank. Headshot. Oh god. Where'd it go? Where is he? Ah! Holy crap, dude. Nioka is... She's a badass, but I could definitely see her freaking special ability getting annoying. I should level up too, but nah. Dude, I'm sorry, but this place is badass. Look at this. It looks insane, dude. Look at like these mushroom trees and everything. I feel like I just took some acid. <laughs> Don't do drugs. What the fuck is that? Oh, okay, never mind. Let's go! Oh, fuck. Oh no, I should have. I didn't realize my health. But alright, guys. Uh, we're actually going to have to call it a video right now. I was looking at the map, and we're actually have to follow the road 
all the way down and go all the way across and we're not even halfway there and by the time we get there it's going to be well over the allotted time so what i'm going to end up doing is actually get to the location and pick it up right probably right outside like right around here or something in the next video so we'll actually be picking up on neoka's uh companion quest right off the bat on the next video so with that being said thank you guys for watching don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll definitely be catching you guys in the next video. Deuces.